During yesterday's European session, traders were concerned about a possible recession in Germany's economy. Such a pessimistic estimate was provided by a specialist at Deutsche Bank. On this background, the euro hit a new lows against the US dollar. At the same time, investors have also priced in the economic forecast published by the European Commission. The report points to threats caused by the coronavirus spread, including lower consumer activity in China and political instability in Germany. The euro-dollar pair reached the level locked in May 2017. After a long correction that took four and a half months, the quote broke the support level at 1.0879. It's uh, quite possible that market participants are under pressure of all-time lows. This can lead to, to opening of buy positions near 1.0850, 1.0910. During the pre-market of the year's trading session, the pen now dived to the bottom of the mentioned range. If the pen moves even lower, it's recommended to open sell positions. In general, market participants have ignored positive data from Europe. For example, in France, the unemployment rate dropped to 8.1 from 8.5 percent. In Germany, the consumer price index advanced by 1.7 compared to a rise of 1.5 percent. The data was in line with the forecast. It's obvious that traders are waiting for the year's inflation figures. According to the forecast, the year's inflation accelerated its growth to 2.4 percent from 2.3. If the prediction comes true, the inflation will be increasing for the fourth months in a row. Besides, it will be above the targeted level of 2% for the third consecutive months. Such a report can result in the Fed's decision to raise the key interest rate. At the same time, the possibility of a higher key rate can support the US dollar. The pound dollar pay is still trying to break about the psychological level of 1.3000. The pay is likely to go on fluctuating between 1.28 85 and 1.30. A local breakthrough uh, that uh, has been recently looked uh, cannot change the downward movement in the medium and long term perspective, especially after US inflation data. But that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast of the latest news. See you soon.